Welcome back everybody, your host AMF1534 here, and it's orb hunting time, once again, on Amnesia, The Dark Descent. In our last crusade, we did gain the first three pieces of the orb puzzle. The only problem is, is now we have to go retrieve the other ones, and I'm rather uncomfortable about it. Oh boy. Also, another very weird happening happened. After uh, messing with a couple of the different um, torture devices, Daniel's sanity went down to a very, very all-time low. Yet, when we picked up this piece of orb, his sanity completely cleared like nothing had even happened. I wonder why. Oh, boy. Alright, since we went to the... L we'll go to the left room first in this one. Yo, no. God, look at these places. These places are fucked up. Another note. What in the world? August 1839. The blood wars are fading. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. What in the world? Hurry. No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry. Oh, come on. I have to kill this guy? With that thing? Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Kill the man. Cut the lines. Cut the flesh. Watch the blood spill. Let it go. What in the world? I didn't do anything. out of the out of the midair that was rather disturbing if I say if I don't say so myself okay so apparently Daniel is now turning into an absolute maniac he is definitely one crazed individual but the problem is is where is my orb piece there should be one in here in there. I have a slight headache after all of that. Well, if anything, let's try this room. Oh, not another one. She deserved it, that little bitch. Oh, who deserved what now, Daniel? Who are you to be, uh, telling people who deserved what? I'll be the judge of that here in just a second. After the men had secured the prisoner, the ritual began. Eee. But what ritual are you talking about? I wonder what happens if I put this piece of meat there. Nope. Nothing? Alright. Okay. Down we go. We make another descent into the choir. The thick liquid spread across his tongue. He swallowed excessively to consume every drop. He looked through the window at the widespread forest and the morning sun. Will this ever end, he thought. Whoa. 
What in the world? What in the blue what dick is going on here? Daniel. Salvation. It used to be yours, but now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. Yikes. Okay, so my question is, is what in the beard of Zeus is going on in here? Whatever it is, I'm not sure if I like it or not. Like, in what way is this a choir? Shit. There's somebody in here. Oh, I see him. You may not see him, but I do. And I'm not really down with that. So in one fashion or another, there are three orb pieces in here. Where I don't have the slightest toss at a dick of where they're at. Um, this is definitely less than desirable, I'm gonna tell you that much right now. As long as I don't aggravate anybody, I'm gonna be okay. By the way, before I go any too much further. Listen to the music in the back. To the untrained eye, that is actually the um, menu music. I just came to realize over the span of the last few seconds. Might this be the first room to get our orb slice in? Oh my god. What in the blue blazes are they doing in this place? This place is hella fucked up. On the other hand, I am getting a lot of good items out of this, but still. This is one messed up room. And I have many, many bottles of laudanum right now. And that is always good. Ah! Jesus! Holy cow balls! Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god. If only you would have been in my position just now. God, I had such a bad feeling about that damn thing, too. Ooh. Man. That was not cool. That's one hell of a torture device. The forger stood absolutely still. The casket had been closed, but a faint light made its way inside. A myriad of spikes pointed it at him, glittering as they waited for his body to slip just for a moment. His knee jerked and he felt blood trickle down his leg. In pain, his head fell slightly forward. It took him a while to realize his eye had ruptured and began to leak. Gross. Good gravy. That is just grisly. I really need to conserve my lantern oil. Ugh. There's bugs crawling all over my face. Nasty. Bugs need to get off of me right now. This is not a very safe place to be. Well, I think that to date, that is the biggest scare that I've gotten during a game. I'm gonna be honest with you, because that was highly uncomfortable. I'm trying to conserve my light as much as possible. So, understand if it's a little bit harder for you to see. So it's just as hard for me to see. And I would love to find a small thing of lantern oil right now. I don't want to go across that bridge just yet. Unless I'm absolutely positive that I have to. Probably because I'm going to have to go across this one first. 
Keep it. Keep in mind, this is still also part of Castle Brennenburg, which is apparently the biggest castle ever built. Not to mention, I just found two things that I've been direly wanting for a while. Awesome. Now there's somebody walking around who's really making a shake-up over here. I don't know where he is. But it doesn't really sound that promising. Looks like whoever or whatever it was, I temporarily avoided it. You'll have to pardon my slow traversing here. I just I don't wanna I don't wanna grab any anybody or anything's attention while I'm working my way over to the next room. This place is fucking creepy. There's like plants growing all over the place in here and other things. I unfortunately have no idea what I'm getting myself into. And that's the problem. At least on the upside, we do have some lantern oil now and that it's always a plus. As long as I don't grab anybody's attention, we will likely be okay. Uh-oh. I can hear somebody screaming and yelping. That does not prove to be good news for me. Pardon me for doing a little bit extra exploring here. I just want to make sure that there's nothing vitally important around here. Okay. Oh shit. I can see him. guy's like right next to me. Oh my god. How I managed to get away from that is a miracle. Oh my god. How I was able to get away from that is a miracle in itself. And there's a tender box like right over here. Shadow. Yeah, the shadow is close now, I'm sure. Oh boy. It's just these places just do not seem safe at all. And I'm really glad I went to the transept first. These places are just not okay with me. Uh, hey, alright. More lantern oil. Excellent. See, all that extra stuff paid off. For the time being, I guess. Oh no. Is that poisonous fungi? if I could break that open. I sure can. I picked up the poison gland. Oh, that's that thing I need to throw into the well. Okay. I understand. Okay. So I've already gotten the absolute shit scared out of me once. And I'm sure it's probably going to go very similarly with a cow. There's a fucking cow in there. Okay. We're gonna... Looks like we're gonna be either sacrificing a cow or that cow is probably gonna explode and kill me. So, whichever one it ends up being. 
Stick around for the next episode, and we're going to try to find the remaining two pieces of that godforsaken orb. So, your host, AMF1534, saying goodbye for now, and I'll see you later. Bye.